Shio Nigara, Holiday Simmons, Dakwado, huh? Hello, friends. I'm Holiday Simmons, the Director of Healing and Resilience at the Campaign for Southern Equality. As a part of our commitment to racial equity, we are enthusiastic about amplifying the experiences and voices of Indigenous people and people of Western North Carolina. Indigenous Wisdom from the Mountains is a project that documents our time with a few leaders of the Eastern Band of the Cherokee Indians. We are humbled and grateful to our host. What, what do I provide in my life that is uh, com just that much comparable to the beans that I raise, the corn? One little seed came up in my outside of my yard last year, and I, I picked almost a half full of bushel of beans, and you ate some of them so today. They're the tender October bean. They have no string, and I don't care what stage they are, even drying on the, the vine, if you went and picked it, you can cook that whole pod and still eat it. It doesn't get hard in strength. So these are the kinds of things that uh, I learn from uh, the foods that I grow and raise. And this is, this is what I, I would hope that each of us would learn at least a little section of something in your life, where you are, where you come from. Uh, what is it that you understand because to me, in the way I look at the, the European culture that was brought here, things is in boxes, which implies to me that there's no relationship between those things. How could any of us live without air, without water, without the food? In fact, and without the fire, those things are necessary for everything else to sustain life. Up until I was 45, I felt like a tumbleweed. Which way the wind blew, that's the way I went. I thought I was supposed to emulate the European culture, but it, it didn't fit. I wasn't rooted. When I went to Oklahoma to our first, the first traditional ceremony of our people, because of the federal government many years before had denied the native peoples of this country the ability to continue doing their own ceremonies, to uh, remember and use their own language because they took the children into boarding school. And so these are, <clears throat> The things that I'm, I've been learning in my lifetime, in the last uh, 45, since I was 45 years old, to do that self, self examination about what is life about and where do I fit in it and who am I? And so after that, I, I, uh, started learning about my own mother's culture. And then along the way in 92, I went to my father's culture in South Dakota and did ceremonies there for about 12 years. <clears throat> this garden where you've been and saw how weedy and all of that, I can come down here with a problem or needing an answer to something. And usually I can leave having the answer because I get connected. My DNA is from this land right here. These are the things and why I do what I do is uh, it nurtures my understanding about who I am and it gives me uh, the ability to see my value, but not only the value that I carry, but every living, everything that is 
I don't care if it's this or if it's the grass, the little creepy crawlies, the worms, the bugs, the elk that roams here and has their lunch breakfast and dinner in the cornfields. The uh, corn itself is our first grandmother, our first first woman, Shelly. So all of this, then, if you get the picture now, it's the circle of life. I guess if you put it like this, that you cannot move any part of this circle out without it throwing everything else out of kilter. <laughs>